Pro 15 inch. Um, this particular model came out on October 14th of 2008 and it's the 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo version and 2 gigs of RAM and a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get on into the review. So let's start on the left hand side of the MacBook Pro, shall we? So on the left hand side, it's basically the ports. From left to right, we have the MagSafe, which is a magnetic charger, and um, basically what this charger does is when you uh, trip on it, it will just be attached rather than sending your laptop onto the ground. And you know how valuable this thing is, so you will never want it to be sent onto the ground. So yeah. Gigabit Ethernet. Firewire 800. You could get a separate cable for Firewire 400, but I haven't done that. I might do that in the future. But I'm just sticking with USB right now. Two USB ports. A mini display port, which Steve Jobs says is the industry standard. But you still need to get separate cables, like uh, for VGA, DVI, S video or composite because a lot of displays right now don't have mini display. Line in for microphones or microphone in or whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, and line out for speakers or headphones. And this is the PCI Express slot. Um, I don't know the details on this. I think you can insert a memory card reader for this, uh, but if you do want more details, visit your local Apple store and ask the Apple geniuses. And right here, you can see that button right there <laughs> is the uh, battery indicator. So rather than flipping your MacBook Pro upside down to see the battery, now you can just push this one little button right here and it will show you the battery. I have less battery power right now because I've been using this on battery the whole day. So yeah, <laughs> blame me. <laughs> and on the front, over here is a little curved thing so you can lift up your screen rather than having a little button and um, latch. So it's basically a magnetic latch which is pretty cool. It doesn't catch on your clothing or anything which is very cool. And, and here's the sleep light indicator if you can see that. Um, yeah right there. And it shows you if it's asleep if it's off or if it's on. And here's the infrared receiver for the Apple remote. The Apple remote doesn't come with the Max anymore. It used to, but now it doesn't. I kind of wish it did, but I guess that's just Apple's way of getting business. <laughs> but I might get I might get an Apple remote later because it's pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, it is. And on the right-hand side, it's the super drive. Oh yeah. And that's the Kensington lock, but I never use that. Um, and then on the um, bottom of the MacBook Pro, it's basically a very simple design. Four rubber feet, and there's a little lock right here. You can't really see it on the camera. Well, maybe you can see it when I import that, this into the Mac, but has a little lock right here and you basically push on it on the push on the lock and you, this little uh, kind of curvy thing comes up basically just lift this up and take off the lid look how thin that thing is I mean seriously that's thin and basically you get access to the battery the, uh, which you can take out with this little tab and the hard drive 
which you can unscrew right here and take out this tab right here and I think you can also get access to the RAM by lifting up this and I think there's three screws under the battery and you unscrew these those three screws and then you can get into the RAM not too sure though maybe it's two screws I don't know how many screws but to put it back on just line it into place uh, it's gonna uh, it's gonna cl not close all the completely because you need to push this latch down this uh, lock when you push it down you're back in place and flip it back over as you can tell it's a very nice design and here's the interior of the MacBook Pro that sound is completely normal, it's just the super drive starting up. So I turned off the lights so you guys can see uh, the interior parts of the MacBook Pro better. But um, what you're staring at right now in the center there is the glass trackpad. It's entirely made of glass and you might be wondering, where's the button? Where's the primary mouse button well the whole trackpad is the button so you can click over here over here anywhere it, it, uh, well not on top though probably it ends like right yeah ends like right here so and this same uh, and the same thing on this side it ends right here and it's an awesome trackpad if you um, get used to this trackpad, you will never go back to any other trackpad, honestly. My mom is used to this trackpad, so she can't go back to her um, Windows computer. This trackpad just kind of um, reminds me of the iPhone, how it has the gestures. And here's the keyboard. As you guys probably got a glance at it um, when before I turned off the lights. Here's the keyboard lit up. As you can tell, it looks beautiful. Um, and just to give you guys an um, idea, this is off. This is the lowest. And this is the highest. This keyboard is very nice to type on. Um, I get very accurate speed and uh, I make less mistakes with this keyboard. Like now, if I go back to my mom's keyboard, <laughs> she owns an HP, so it's just hard to type on. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out. Go to your local Apple store to test one out. Um, I think you can buy one of those external keyboards for your PC, too. So, yeah, and here's my desktop. Here, let me zoom in, zoom out a little bit. And I'm running Mac OS X Leopard, obviously. Snow Leopard is coming out um, soon, I guess. Uh, I think it's coming out in July, August? I don't know, October. It, October or September even, maybe. But Leopard is pretty sweet, honestly. And on the top here is basically the eyesight camera. You can't really see the eyesight camera because it's blended in to the um, black border around the screen. So there's the green light for the camera. You can't really see the camera because it's um, blended in to the black border around the screen. But um, there's also a microphone right next to the camera. And the microphone is actually very good quality. You will see and you can use your eyesight to video chat with iChat or you can have fun with photo booth or you can also use Skype I guess if you guys want any other further reviews please tell me so I hope you guys enjoyed this MacBook Pro review and see you guys next time thank you for watching